Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to do this proper glam, dark, 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 dark smoky eye. It's been quite a while since I've done something a little bit more mod style, like grungy and the best. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this eye. This is perfect for everyone that's still got Christmas nights out to go on, New Year, I think it's fabulous for or if you're like me um, I'm going to go to the doctors and get jags for my holidays and Christmas shopping Christmas food shopping the best food shopping I really hope you guys like this video I'm sorry I wasn't here um, last week I'm sorry I missed last week's video but I am going to have a little doubler for you to do so keep an eye out for an extra video and I will see you next week but if you'd like to see how I created this look stay tuned Okay, starting off. Where is my brush? Okay, starting off with soft toker as always. Just gonna use a dual fiber brush to pop that on. And I'm just using that all over the eye, right up to the concealer. And then I'm gonna use it underneath as well. Prep them lids, yo. Good. Now for the eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar from Too Faced. This is my first time using these shadows and I really like them, really really like them. So first colour I'm going to go in with is called Mousse. This colour here, like a kind of nice taupey transition shade. It's quite dark but I like that for a transition shade. And I'm just using a Makeup Addiction Cosmetics brush, just a really nice fluffy one and we're going to pop that in the crease. No, I'm not using too much product and then when I get to the brow I'm just going to kind of blend that into the concealer to get a nice soft blend. And as you can see, it's quite winged out this look I've done. Quite winged. So we're going to do that. Now I'm going to go in to the crease and I'm going to use the colour Truffled. Crap, where is it? My oh, it smells so good. This colour here. Um, this palette, if you don't have it, this palette smells like chocolate. It genuinely smells like chocolate. Pretty nice. We're just going to use that shade truffled in the crease and blend it out. That brush had black on it. Crap. So I'm just going to use my fluffy brush to blend that out again. And I think the key is these shadows are actually really pigmented. It's surprising. I was really surprised at how good they were. I don't mean that in a bad way. I just thought because they are so popular and they're really quite popular, popular with younger girls that are just getting into makeup because of the kind of cute packaging. I didn't expect such good quality, but honestly, they're so good. So I'm just going back into the transition shade just to buff that out a little bit or try to anyway. Now I'm going to go in with a little tiny morph brush. This is the M507 love it. I'm going to use the truffle shade which is a darker brown and I'm going to drag that right along underneath my eye. Getting it nice and dark. And then I'm going to use the same little brush just to pack on the pigment on the top. I think, see the kind of makeup I do, it's not, it's not very technically, it's not really blended, it's not super duper neat or tidy, so I can kind of get away with being a little bit quicker and a little bit messier with it, and then I kind of tidy it all up at the end, which that's kind of the style that I like to do my makeup in. Um, I'm going to drag down the brown shade just a little bit here because I'm actually going to use a wipe just to kind of sharpen the edge up, so I like the pigment to come quite far down and then the wipe will just kind of clean all that up. I'm going to go back in with that tiny little morph brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Licorice. I'm not going to show you what the colour is because it's just black. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to pack it on in the corner and underneath. Just a little bit though. And that's just to kind of get the depth up, get it nice and smoky. I'm going to go in with my favourite little sugar pill brush and just do a little bit of blending now. Just kind of tickling the sides of the black to kind of blend it into the brown. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Bon Bon, which is this colour here. It's got a slight shimmer to it, but because it's such a nice warm kind of coppery, uh, it'll help me blend. So I'm going to go in with that shade on my sugar pill brush and I'm just going to go along the sides of the brown on the top of the brow. Now, I think it's quite good because the pigment's actually not as good as these shades, but I think that's a good thing because I only want a little bit just to help me blend. I don't want it to be pure bing, you know? Now I'm going to go in with the little Lux, Lux Classic Shader brush. This is the rose gold um, Zoeva brushes. And I'm going to go in with the shame, the shame. I'm going to go in with the shade Coconut Cream, which is the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm just going to put a little base on my lid and inner corner as well. And then I'm going to give that a little blend out. 
Now I'm going to go in with another Too Faced product. This is the Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. This is one of my favourite all time products, especially if you ever like working with pigments or glitters, anything like that, that you maybe think something like the pigment looks amazing in the box, but when you go to put it on your eye, it kind of falls apart. See if you put this base on underneath, um, the glue just helps everything stick. So I'm just applying that with my finger all over where I've put the lighter colour. If you don't have nails like me, this is pretty easy. If you have nails like me, good luck, because that's that's pretty tricky. The colour I'm going to go in with on the lid is a uh, Inglo pigment. This is number 85, and it's been compared to MAC Blue Brown quite a lot of times, but I actually like it a lot better. And I nearly just tipped it in my drawer, that would have been hell. So I'm just going to go in with that, pick up a little bit of the pigment. And pop it on top of the glitter. You'll notice that um, I've not done my foundation yet. Sometimes I do do my foundation first for these kind of tutorials, like eye makeup tutorials, but because this one's working with so many pigments, like see all this fallout, imagine I'd had my foundation on already. What a mess I would have made. I'm firing through this tutorial, this is great. So I'm just using a winged liner brush and I'm just getting a little bit of this gel liner. So this is just the Inglot gel liner. Um, pretty well known for being super black and really sturdy as well. So it's good for going on top of a makeup where you've done a pigment. So I'm just going to do that and I'm only going to bring my liner to the corner of the eye. And then I'm going to use the gel liner as well to go in my waterline. I see if you wiggle your brush in between your lashes it makes it look super dark, it makes it much darker. So I'm just using a wee boot swipe. I usually I keep these handy in case I just want to quickly remove my makeup before cleansing or if I'm on the go they're good. Um, and I'm just going to get the wipe and put it on my finger like so and I'm just going to swipe that up. Here's hoping this works. Actually, I'm going to smoke it out a little bit more underneath first. I'm just using the colour peanut butter again, which is the darker brown, just to get that nice and dark underneath first. Then I'm going to go in with the wipe again. I'm going to leave it like that just now, because I can always go in with a blending brush with some concealer and just kind of like buff it out a little bit. Next, I'm going to... Next, I'm going to pick up my little brush again, um, the one I used to put the pigment on, and I'm going to use the end of this brush with a little bit of the glitter glue, the Too Faced glitter glue, and I'm going to pop it in my inner corner. Just like so. And then I got something really exciting today. I got the new Makeup Geek um, Sparkler pigments. So this is Stargazer. So these are like new loose glitters from Makeup Geek. They've just brought them out um, recently. I've only started seeing stuff online about them recently as well. So I'm going to go in with the same brush I used for the pigment and we're going to pop that in my inner corner. Beautiful. I can't wait to go and have a look at other colours. I think I'm going to go a little bit darker just underneath this lash line and a little bit darker in the crease as well. So I'm going to use the black to smoke out that liner for sure. Time for mascara and lashes. So the lashes I'm using are Eldora. I think these are Eldora 107s. And mascara I'm going to use is Nabla Le Film Noir. Nabla are um, the Italian brand I use quite often. They've got some kick ass eyeshadows out just now, actually. And I'm going to use. Oh, that's an email. I'm going to use just the end of the brush just to wiggle underneath my bottom lashes like this, just to get that volume. And then I'm waiting for my lash to dry, basically. While I'm waiting for my last drink, I'm going to show you how I kind of buff it out a little bit more just to make it not so harsh a line. Um, I've been using Benefit Erase Paste underneath my eyes because it is very peachy. It's almost like a peach concealer and it's really good for under eyes. So I've been using that. I get, it's quite a tacky product, so you only need a little tiny bit. And I just kind of stipple right along. And then little side to side movements with the gel fibre brush. When you get to the eyeshadow, you can just kind of like tickle the concealer into the eyeshadow and it helps buff that out a little bit. Not so. I used to do makeup with a big harsh line, so if you've watched any of my old tutorials, you'll see me using tape. Um, 
I still do really like that look, but recently I just look it a little bit more blown out, a little bit more smoky. I think when it's a really harsh straight line, it's really easy to make them, um, if, they're, if they're not super symmetrical, then it looks a bit silly. So this is a kind of easier way to do it. Okay, while I'm waiting for that lash to dry still, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Becca Opal Highlighter, which is my new complete favourite. Uh, I'm going to go in with the same brush I've used for all my pigments today, the Zoeva brush, and I'm going to just highlight my eyebrow, brow bone. Mm. And sometimes your highlight just kind of helps blend everything together as well. So now I've popped my lash on, I'm just going to go over the lash base, um, root of the lash, with my trusty super liner, the Perfect Slim L'Oreal black one. And I'm just going to colour in where my lash meets the falsy and it just makes it look a little bit more realistic which is obviously the, the end game here. And I'm going to shoot off and do my foundation and I'll be back with the finished look. I hope you guys like the finished look. I'll definitely be rocking something like this for New Year. Something that's super, super dark and grungy. Back to, back to my roots. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing Christmas and New Year. Bye!